Today's video is of a review of a book that I got from a library. It's called Learn Watercolor Quickly and it's by Hazel Soan or Soan. I'm not really sure how you pronounce her surname. The book is separated into six chapters. So we have chapter one, what you should know about watercolor. Chapter two, the stuff you need. Chapter three, choosing the colors. Chapter four, putting paint on paper. Chapter five, selecting a subject. And chapter six, go for it. As a beginner to watercolor, I feel like I'm in a perfect position to judge books on watercolor painting. And for me, this was a very good book. As an individual, I prefer more detail in my books, but you can't blame the book for that because it wasn't intended to give more detail. It's meant to be a basic introduction. And I think for that purpose, it's done an excellent job. I know that there are a lot of YouTube videos which tell us how to use watercolor, but to be honest with you, I personally do not think anything beats a good book. And I'll give you an example. There is a whole bunch of new information inside this book that I did not find from any of the watercolor tutorials that I came across on YouTube. A specific example would be on page 80, where the page is titled Restoring Light in Watercolor. I had no idea that if you make a mistake and you cover up an area on your paper, which is meant to be left white, that you could just get your white paint, watercolor paint and paint in white areas. I had no idea that you could use your white watercolor in a corrective way like that. That's one of many examples that are in this book of brand new information that I had no idea about. I'm not going to go into more examples than that because this is meant to be a review and I don't want to give away the book in case you do want to get a hold of it. With every book, however, there are always going to be flaws. And when you have a basic book like this, you are always going to have to leave out information which may or may not be significant depending on what your opinion is of what is significant. For me personally, I think learning has two stages. The first is knowledge, reading books and gaining an understanding of whatever it is you are learning about. The second, however, is practice. So from the perspective of a watercolor book, the practice would be in the form of providing step-by-step -step tutorials on how to create watercolor paintings. Naturally, because this book is very basic, it has understandably chosen to leave out tutorials on creating watercolor paintings. Although that's understandable for the book, for me, it's something that I would wish to see inside every watercolor book, even if it's just one step-by-step -step tutorial that's incredibly basic. There are a lot of step-by-step -step pictures in this book, but I won't classify them as tutorials because they're intended to demonstrate the narrative. They're intended to demonstrate what the author is explaining. They're not intended to help you from the beginning right through to the very end to create the image. And as a result of that, even though there are step by steps, you can see that there are stages missing from the step by steps, which you would expect in a book which is giving you a tutorial. So the biggest issue with this book for me is that there are no step by step tutorials on it. However, in saying that, I think it meets its purpose very well in that it is a basics book intended to introduce you to the world of watercolor paintings. And it has done that incredibly well. I feel like I know a lot more about watercolor than I did before. Probably not as much as I will do once I start reading the thicker books, but definitely I feel like I understand a little bit more than I did before. Hopefully this review was useful to you guys and I hope you enjoy the video. If you don't, let me know why below. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.